So we ran out of battery juice and uh, tried to recharge it from the laptop. We've got a few minutes at least. What I'm going to do is uh, go around rather quickly, at least more quickly than I was before, because there are some things I really would like to be able to capture here before we run out of uh, batteries again. Uh, right behind me as I go up, uh, and you can see the angel holding the child, and we're seeing the back of this man with the huge column in which he was holding out the eagle. Going to go over to the right, and here we have the main tower, which is, I don't know, 40, 50 feet high. Um, and I will walk around that in just a minute. Um, this, as I walk back, is the end of the walkway here. I'd like to show you some of that. And it goes into a circular area in which no work was done. So I'll turn around and go up. And you can see again some of the figures that we just walked by from another angle. I'm going to walk through the garden and around some of the tower as I go. But before I come back to the tower, and I'm going to try to give you a sense of the, uh, the outer gate, which, as Elizabeth was saying, this is the angels guarding the gate of Eden after the people were ejected from that. And as we do, I'll give you some other views of the garden itself. Here's the back side of that wooden gate, the back side of the archway. Here are the other two angels, which I guess we haven't seen them earlier. And here now is the gate I was speaking about. And here is on the outside the earth, and then light inside. And as I walk back, you'll be able to see the two angels guarding the gate with swords and a flaming sword. And this is the outside of the garden. If you were standing on the road, it would be on the left-hand side. And we'll walk up to it and go inside, walk around the back of one of the angels, here we have a burning bush. We have seen er e earlier, I see, and then we've seen these two angels also as we came to them. And they're pointing down with arms open, pointing down to the light. This is the rear of that figure who's holding the woman and now we're going around him and you can see the front and the woman draped over one arm and then him and then the eagle on the other side and then the arm out extended out with a sword. So I'm going to walk back into the garden and as I do you'll be seeing some more These figures will start to be a little bit more familiar with you. Just an amazing place. We've just had lunch while the battery was charging. Brought our own food along the way, so we were fortunate. Had a nice cooler, a couple of sandwiches and an orange. The torch, an angel holding the torch, another one holding a scroll, the two feet impressed in the center, and again more flowers around the circular area, and it leads us back from here 
to the tower that you just saw a few glimpses of. And here is the front side. The opening, the door where you can go inside. That doorway is about seven feet tall to give you some scope. So I'm going to start he stop here and then start another video and try to get some more of the detail on the tower.